Hello everyone, welcome back to Bytes of CAC. So in this lecture, we'll be showing you, I'll be showing you how to use multilayer perceptron to implement the NOR gate. Now, before we implement the NOR gate, uh, we will be, um, we'll be see how uh, NOT gate is implemented using the multilayer perceptron and why do we need to know that. You'll get to know that uh, shortly afterwards. Okay, so for now, this is the... Uh, uh, well, the truth table of your NOT gate, where uh, NOT gate does nothing, it just inverts the value. Like if your uh, input is 0, NOT gate will implement, uh, will output 1. And uh, if your in input is 1, NOT gate will output 0. So this is the basic uh, multi-layered perceptron. So it has one input layer since uh, we have just one input, one feature in our uh, example and there is one hidden layer and there is one output layer since there's just one output so there's just one node that will be outputting the value so uh, this is the uh, this is uh, your hidden layer value will be calculated as w1 x1 plus the bias so we directly uh, plug in the bias into your hidden layer and uh, let us consider that the value of w1 is minus 1 and the value of your bias is 1. So uh, now let's see what happens here uh, the value of let, let's take the first case where the value of x1 is 0. So the value of uh, your h will be w1 into x1 that is 0 and plus bias that is uh, plus 1 and that will be equals to 1. So as we have uh, seen in the previous MLP example, uh, previous MLP video that after uh, you have calculated your hidden layer you will have to um, use an activation function on your hidden layer to add non-linearity to your model. Now in this case we will be using the activation function ReLU. Now, I have a separate video on the different activation functions that we use in multilayer perceptron. I'll request you to go through that video. Now, uh, in this case, the ReLU function, what the ReLU function does is, whenever the ReLU function gets an input um, h, it will output the maximum of h and 0. Now, in this case, uh, the ReLU function, uh, it, it is going to be uh, ReLU1. So, the maximum of 1 and 0 will be equals to 1 therefore your output layer will output 1. Now let's take the second case where the value of x1 is 1. So when your value of x1 is 1 so x w1 x1 value will be minus 1 then you have to add the bias which is plus 1 and your answer uh, your hidden layer component will be 0. Then you have to pass it through the activation function that is this one that is ReLU0. So ReLU0 will be equals to maximum of 0 and 0 which is equals to 0 and hence your output layer will uh, output 0. So this is in accordance to what we have seen should be your intended output right. Now I have used this minus 1 and 1 and it um, gave the right answer. Of course there will be a training and after you have trained the layer it will actually show you what the true value of W1 and bias will be like. So that is going to be a very uh, lengthy process. So I have just plugged in the true values of W1 and bias. So you can also use different values to find out that what can be the other values of W1 and bias that will satisfy this kind of a truth table. Now moving on, uh, you will be, uh, I, I'll show you how to implement the multilayer perceptron uh, for an OR gate. Now an OR gate has two um, inputs that is x1 and x2 and whenever any one of the inputs is 1 the output will be 1 when both are 0 the output will be 0 this is the truth table of OR gate now this is going to be your uh, multi-layered perceptron for this uh, particular OR gate 
so there are two input layers, uh, two nodes in the input layers. That is, uh, for one for x1 and one for x2, and there will be two weights w1 and w2, uh, one for this and one for this, and then we have a bias which is acting on the hidden layer, and uh, then we have the activation function, and finally you will get the output. Now. In this case, the hidden layer, uh, your hidden layer will be computed as W1X1 plus W2X2 plus your bias. Now, let us see in this case, uh, the value of your W1B1 and W2B2. Now, these could have been same, but just uh, for, uh, for the sake of not taking the same value for W1 and W2, I am taking two different values. And uh, let's consider that your bias is zero in this case. Now, let us take the first uh, case where uh, x1 is 0 and x2 is 0. So, therefore, x1, w1 will be 0, w2, x2 will be 0 and we have the bias which is 0 again. So, the value will be, value of h will be 0. So, now we feed into the ReLU function. The ReLU function will take in like ReLU 0 and that will be equals to maximum of 0 and 0 and therefore your uh, output layer will output the value of 0. Now let's take the second example where x1 is 0 and x2 is 1. So uh, x1 w1 will be 0. W2 X2 will be, since the value of W2 is 2, the value of uh, W2 X2 will be 2 and we have the bias which is 0. So your value of H will be 2. Now here it will be maximum of 2 and 0 which is equals to 2. So something positive. Now this is obviously this is 1 and this is 2 you might say that this is this is outputted 2 and this was actually supposed to be uh, 1 so this is actually the state is like on and this is the off state so 0 you can like say that this is the off state and this is the on state and since um, 2 is definitely uh, i mean uh, 2 is greater than 0 we can always say that uh, well uh, 2 is kind of and on state. Now let's move on to this example just like previous. Now here uh, w1 uh, x1 the value will be 1. This is going to be 0 and this is going to be 0 and therefore this will be 1 and whenever you uh, go, uh, let it go through the ReLU function, the, it will be like maximum of 1 and 0, that is going to be 1. And finally, we get into this, exam, uh, this uh, case where x1, the value of x1 is 1, the value of x2 is again 1. So it will be this w1, x1 will be 1, w2, x2 will be 2 and the bias being 0. The value of h is equals to 3 and therefore this will output the value of 3. Then again an on state. So this is in accordance to what has been shown here. Now let us move on to the multi-layered perceptron for implementing the NOR gate. Now we know that NOR is equal, equivalent to OR and NOT and now I hope you understand the reason why we went through the implementation of OR gate and NOT gate first before implementing NOR. Now what NOR does is uh, whatever be the value of your OR gate, uh, whatever be the value of your OR function of these two variables, whenever you take the inverse uh, of that function, like you just in, uh, you just uh, complement that uh, output and you get the output for your NOR. So in this case, x1 and x2 in case of OR gate, the normal uh, output would have been 0. Now if you take a complement of uh, this, this will output 1. So basically whenever uh, both your inputs are 0, 
it will output a 1 otherwise for all the other cases the output will be 0 in case of a NOR gate. Now let's take a multi-layered perceptron where we can see that uh, there are basically two hidden components this is like uh, H1 and this is H2 you can say. So what we have done here basically we also will be using the ReLU function here as well. So we have actually taken two multi-layered perceptrons one for like this is your uh, this part that is your left hand side portion resembles the multi-layered perceptron for OR and your right hand side represent the multi-layered perceptron for NOD gate. Now let's see what is happening here. So just like before we will be taking W1 as 1, W2 as 2, this B1 this is the first bias, the bias for the OR gate uh, that will be equals to 0 and now here now the input of the uh, uh, the input uh, of the uh, NOT gate will be uh, what the OR gate outputs. So the WH, this is the uh, NOT gate weight, we consider that as a minus 1 as we have done before and the bias value that is the B2 stands for the NOT gate bias that will be 1 as in our previous case. So for both, uh, so after H1 is calculated, H1 will be uh, going through this activation function ReLU and that value will be fed as input to this gate and finally again uh, input to this layer sorry and then again uh, the output of output H2 will have to pass through another ReLU function activation function here and you will get the final output. So for your first layer H1 which is equals to W1 X1 plus W2 X2 plus B1. So let's take this uh, case first. So 0 0. So in this case X1 is 0, X2 is 0. So this is 0 plus 0 plus 0 which is equivalent to 0. So ReLU H will be max of 0 and 0. So now this will be equivalent to 0 of course. Now this will be fed into here. Now this is your input for your NOT gate. So the input is 0 in this case. Now for your uh, second uh, layer that is your H2 will be equals to WH H1 plus B2. So your H1 as we have calculated was 0 in our case that is for 0 0 case it was 0. So um, this is going to be 0 plus your B2 value is 1 so 0 plus 1 that is equals to 1. So now again this will go through this max of uh, this ReLU function which is which will be max of 1 and 0 which is equals to 1. So your output in this case will be 1. Now let's take the last case where uh, both the values of x1 and x2 are positive that is 1. So here what we see is uh, the value for your H1 will be W1 X1 plus W2 X2 plus B1. So your uh, W1 was 1, W2 is uh, 2. So this will be 1 plus 2 plus 0 which is equivalent to 3. Now it goes through the ReLU function. So it will be like max of 3 and 0. And that will output the value of 3. Now 3 is your uh, input now to your this H2 layer. So uh, now you have to compute the value of H2 which is equals to WH H1 plus B2. So your value of WH is minus 1, value of H1 is 3. So WH H1 will be minus 3 and your bias value is 1. So minus 3 plus 1 equals to minus 2.
then now again you have to encounter this ReLU function which says that you have to take the maximum of minus 2 and 0 and that will be equivalent to 0. So here your output will be 0 and the intended output is also 0. So for these two examples, I will uh, highly recommend you to go through the weights and find out that how it actually works. And also, you may find uh, you may permute, uh, you may take different weight combinations and find out that how this NOR gate can be implemented, taking other W1, W2, WH, uh, and B1, B2 values. So that was all for today. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you. Thanks for watching.